Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to graph hyperbolas using boxes. Now, what boxes do when it comes to the graphs of hyperbolas is it kind of helps you evenly space out the hyperbola graph. It gives you most of the parts, but not completely all the parts, but um, it kind of gives you a good idea as to, again, how the branches of hyperbola are spaced out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an example, and we'll kind of apply how you can use a box. So let's just say, hypothetically, you have horizontal branches in this hyperbola. Now, as you know, hyperbolas can have horizontal and vertical branches, but for you know uh, demonstration purposes, we're just gonna use horizontal branches. So using rough sketch, suppose your hyperbola branches look like this. Okay. Now, typically in a box, the box will contain the center of the hyperbola. Now, what a box will typically look like is you talk about the distance from the center to the transverse axis. Now, the transverse axis is the distance from the center to the one of the branches. And the transverse axis letter is always associated with the letter A. So what happens here is that this box is going to be length of total 2A because the distance from the center to one of the branches is always the letter A. So that's going to be one part of the box. Just using a rough sketch here. Now, the other part of the box, the dimension of the box, is the conjugate axis. And that is the distance from the center to, you can call it the width. So again, you have B is associated with a conjugate axis. And so the distance from here to here is B. The distance from here to the other end is also B. So the total length of the width, if you will, is going to be 2B. So you have a box that consists of 2A and 2B. Now, is there a letter C? Yes, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Now, also what you want to keep in mind is through the corners of the box will be the asymptotes. Again, kind of drawing a rough sketch here. Okay, it's going to have a, two asymptotes going through. So, so far, a box is going to have the center, the transverse axis, the conjugate axis, and the asymptotes. Now, within each branch of the hyperbola is going to be your foci, one on each side. And the distance from the center to the foci is of the letter C. Okay, just kind of running out of room here. But you get to the foci distance by using this equation, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And if it looks like the Pythagorean theorem, you're absolutely right, because there is an association of this equation of the hyperbola with the foci as it does with the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief strategy on graphing hyperbolas with boxes.